Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. In this video, we're going to be looking at classes versus sets. Now, in the previous video, we looked at the universal class, V. This is a grouping which contains as members all sets and only sets. Based on this, we can give a more formal definition of the term set. A set is, by definition, a member of the universal class, or more formally, for all A, A is a set is, by definition, A is a member of V, the universal class, where A is any group, where group is a broadly, very poorly defined term, and S is the predicate, is a set, okay? If sets are members of the universal class, then what are classes? Well, we are going to define a class as a subset, or in this case, a subclass of the universal class. Remembering that subclass and subset are effectively interchangeable. It's just what, what is the subject that you're talking about? It's the same relation. So while sets are members of the universal class, classes are collections of elements of the universal class. This makes the universal class a class, since all classes are subclasses of themselves. Or more formally, we might state for all A, A is a class is by definition that A is a subclass of V. Or A is any group of objects, once again, group being very roughly defined here. And C is the predicate, is a class. Note that as of right now, we have not shown that all sets are classes, though I have mentioned it in previous videos. Since being an element of a class does not guarantee that you are a subclass too. So all sets are elements of the universal class but that doesn't guarantee that they are subsets of the universal class or that they are subclasses of the universal class. And without some axioms to tell us a little bit more about what the universal class actually looks like, we can't really show that. But for now, it can be helpful to think of sets as a special type of class. Since we're going to eventually accept an axiom which helps us show this. So for now, just to think about sets and classes, think about classes as the larger category and sets as a subcategory of that. We haven't proven that's the case yet, but we will. Up next, we're going to take a look at the axiom of extensionality. We're finally going to start to get into the actual axioms, some of the more formal statements that we are going to need to assume in order to get set theory started. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.